what's this three videos inside of a week what's going on today is going to be a very exciting day don't know how much of this is going to end up in the tech channel video versus my this channel the vlog channel but a box arrived and in case you couldn't hear me a, a, a box arrived and inside of this box is actually a really interesting addition a fun addition for this channel you may have already guessed it it may be in the title i don't know but here it is. And just looking at this box, maybe this won't turn into a tech channel video because it has like open box written all over it. But it does say condition excellent, no missing accessories, no damage. This is the Sony 10 to 18 millimeter F4 E mount lens. The camera I'm filming this on, of course, is the Sony a6300, but I'm using the kit lens right now, 16 to 50 millimeter lens. And while 16 millimeters is decently wide, it equates to about 24 millimeters. This guy goes out to 10 millimeters and 10 millimeters equates to about 15 millimeters. So 15 to 27 is what this is gonna cover. 10 to 18, 15, to, yeah, there's the lens. Comes with a lens hood. You can just flip it around like that and put it back in place. Had to check to see if I was actually in the frame. I mostly am. There's actually nothing else in this box aside from just a little bit of paperwork, which we're not gonna need. And there's the lens. It has front lens cap, rear lens cap. Everything so far looks okay, looks acceptably good. Taking a look at the glass, there's a little bit of dust on it. I don't see anything on there that looks bad so far. I'll have to look at it under some brighter, better lighting. Both rings are working very smoothly. Very nice. Let's do a little swap here. And so now here we are, we're on the new lens. This is the 10 to 18 millimeter. You might be saying, well, why, why is this not terribly wide? Well, that's because, uh, there. That's zoomed all the way out. This is, you can see a whole lot more. I don't know how much I'll be using this lens at 10 millimeters. It's mainly gonna be for like handheld walking around type stuff, but look how much more of this room you can see. You can see the overhead microphone you don't normally get to see. You can see all the crap that's on the table and everything. You can see all of this background area. And of course there's probably gonna be a little bit of distortion and everything. I don't care. Like I said, most of the time I'm gonna be holding this handheld. So having this extra flexibility and all this extra room to have my little dance parties in, I'm okay with this. Now this does represent a significant significantly larger package than what I was using previously. This is the kit lens that came on it, the 16 to 50, and it's a teeny tiny little lens. Okay, it's not teeny tiny, it's a very small lens. It's bigger than a pancake, but smaller than obviously something like this. And this is an F4 lens, so it's not going to be working amazingly well. I just <laughs> realized that my ISO is set to 400 and it's flashing and complaining at me. Let me set it to auto. There we go, that's a little bit brighter, a little bit better looking. Didn't change the, yeah. <laughs> But so far, just looking at the lens and the ability to zoom in on it, I'm liking the way that this looks pretty well and the fact that it's staying at f4 throughout the zoom range, very, very nice. And again, the zoom ring, very smooth, works very nicely. Two thumbs up. And the fact that this is an $850 lens that I was able to get for 720 plus tax because I bought it from Best Buy, I'm very much okay with that. And just for the sake of comparison, this is about where I would normally be holding the camera at arm's length and this is as wide as it goes. It's 10 millimeters right now, but I can still come in and zoom in to 18 millimeters if you want that extra emphasis, if you will, and then also go back out to 10 millimeters if you really want to get up close and personal. Although it looks like just looking in the, I've got a monitor over there. There's a monitor over there. Looking in it there, it looks like I'm a little bit more bubbly, but there were a lot of people on this channel, on the vlog channel, that really liked the Canon Vixia Mini X I used to film with, which had a very wide angle lens. Maybe this can kind of serve as an in-between there. I just love the fact that I can actually hold it a whole lot closer to myself and get a lot more in the frame. So like if I were in the car right now, it would actually be sitting on the dash about this far away and you could very easily see Christina next to me and Duncan and Ellis in the back seat. Very good stuff there. I just gotta make sure not to get too confident with it being that wide angle because I'll forget or I'll accidentally zoom it in and then just be like this up on top. No, we don't want that. Nobody wants that. Anyway, very happy so far. I'll look at the footage later and just make sure everything looks okay. But so far, very initial, very early impressions. 10 millimeter is good. That feeling when you film a whole first three or four minutes of a video and then you realize that you reset your audio settings to as almost as loud as they can go in the camera. And something about this cable that I've changed to makes it ridiculously overblown loud. So yeah, most of that audio was probably terrible. Sorry about that. But this is the 10 to 18 millimeter lens. It does have uh, optical steady shot built into it. So I'm kind of curious, it's not gonna be doing anything. There's no stabilization inside of the body. So this OSS is not going to be doing anything for video mode. I'm gonna have to put a handle or something on this because I've got a, a small rig cage as well as this lens and it makes it a lot heavier. Maybe I'll have to take the cage back off. 
And here we go with a little bit of outdoor sort of handheld footage with the 10 to 18 millimeter lens. Right now we are at 10 millimeters. I pulsed there a little bit just checking. And now I'm standing up here next to the rail. If I go ahead and just zoom the full way in, that's the extent of the zoom. So it's not a huge zoom lens, just 10 to 18. And again, this is me outdoors. Uh, pretty much auto mode, just program mode with auto ISO and everything using the 10 to 18 millimeter lens at 10 and there's 18. So this is as zoomed in as it will go, but less than arm's length and then 10 millimeters and actually I can kind of hold it up closer and still be very well in the frame. And a little while later, as you may be able to see, some packages have shown up. One of the packages is actually kind of assembled here behind me. And the interesting thing about that one is it's, for one, it's not something I would normally make a video about over on the tech channel, but it's something that I've been wanting to purchase for years and years and just never really bothered to because I didn't want to invest in something that I wasn't sure about like that. It's a kneeling chair. And as you might expect, you sit down on it and you kind of kneel, as the name implies. But as I was saying there, a company reached out and was saying, you know, we make this product, would you like to check it? Sure, absolutely. So it showed up and I assembled it on camera and everything, just a very quick like time-lapse thing on the GoPro. And I got to the very last screws. And this little guy down here has four bolts that hold it in place. One of the bolts did not have a metal receptacle to, to actually hold it. So I ended up emailing the company back and they were very nice about it. They actually shipped out another chair. I expected just to ship the extra part. I don't have to ship the other. So there's two chairs here, which is awesome. And it's a very comfortable, very sturdy chair. I say as I walk over to my normal desk chair to have a seat. So what will I do with the other chair? Actually, since I do have a day job, I do go into an office and I have an absolutely terrible office chair there because I don't work in the office. I think I'm gonna take it into my office and leave it there so I can use it when I'm in the office. It'll be a little bit just different, something different to try. So there's that. This one is also made at home. He's watching some Sunday. No, that's Craner, that's not Sunday. Woo! And he's got baseball here in a little bit. So after this is over, we're gonna go pick Ellis up, take him to baseball, and maybe I could take advantage of that up. I didn't go to baseball with him last week, so maybe I'll go this week and take the zoom lens and see if I can get some cool zoomed in ultra slow motion footage and include it here. Maybe, maybe not. And away we go, on the road, on our way to get Ellis. And I just got an email from Best Buy saying that my Galaxy S8 has shipped. That's exciting. I also got an email earlier from VRS Design saying that the, they're shipping a bunch of cases for the Galaxy S8. I also already received a box with about eight cases for it from somebody in the UK, Mobile Fun in the UK, I think. I will probably be doing some Galaxy S8 case giveaways if any of you are interested. Uh, there'll be some stuff about it over on the tech channel. Be on the lookout for that. And then there's a Duncan in the back. You can probably see him because this is a very, very wide angle. So minor lesson learned there. The ultra wide angle on this, I, I stopped and took a look at the footage. The ultra wide angle on this being that far away is maybe a little too wide for this style of filming. So this is 18 millimeters, I zoomed in. Should be a little closer than I normally film, but still get an awful lot in the frame. The other thing about filming with this lens on this little setup that I'm using, it's a lot heavier, so just barely touching it, any one of the many components there can come apart and it can just sort of fall over. It's a little too heavy, but it looks nice. Welcome home. Hi, honey. <laughs> Happy boy. And as it tends to happen, change of plans. So Christina went ahead and took Duncan to baseball. Ellis and I ran out to Kroger because Ellis is completely out of juice and he, he goes through an awful lot of juice at this point. And of course, while we were out there, he, let's just say he made a bit of a mess on himself in the store. And so it was, luckily it was in the checkout line. So I was able to take him out to the car right after we got done and get him changed in the back of the car. This is why we have cargo mats in the car because there's no carpet exposed to be covered in substances. But we're home now and he's playing basketball and having fun. I can even zoom in on him with this little lens, look at that. I tried to get his attention, he's not interested. But we're just gonna be here hanging out until Christina and Duncan make it back from Duncan's baseball practice. And actually the way that I'm holding this camera right now, I've got my fingers wrapped around the lens and the rest of them around the grip. It's actually kind of comfortable. It's a little more comfortable than I'm used to holding it. And I can almost, yeah, I can just reach the record button with my middle finger so I can technically start. That's interesting. You learn things as you use it. I still don't know if this would be a great daily vlogging camera because there's an awful lot of tech issues to it, but the autofocus is so good, the low light is so good, and when you put a decent mic on it, which actually, this mic is not that terribly expensive and it doesn't require a battery, it's a really nice camera. Anyway, on to hanging out with the boy. 
<laughs> Daddy. Everybody's made it back. Baseball fun? Very baseball-y. Did you play the baseball? Yes. Ella said he had fun while you were gone. Yeah. All right. And literally right after I turned the camera off, Ellis took a step. Like, it was a legitimate step, wasn't it? Yes. Oh, you're just throwing stuff now. He wasn't holding on to anything. He walked to the... Yeah, I, I walked him over here just with one hand. And as soon as I let go of him, he was standing right in here and turned around to step over to the ottoman. He took a full step. So we're definitely getting there. Oh, let go. Take a step. Uh oh. Almost. Good try. Can you go to mommy? Go get her. Go get her. Oh, whoo! Down I go. Hey, give it a try. That was a good try. You know, it's not your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. And we've gotten the little ones into bed. It's what, a little after nine? Nine oh nine. Yeah, Ellis, he's getting harder and harder to put to sleep, but yeah. still works. Yeah. Anyway, not entirely sure why I turned the camera on today other than just using the new lens and playing around some more, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the little bit that I was able to capture here. Did you have a good day? Yeah, it was okay. Was I right. wish, wish my, how do you give it? We haven't mentioned that. No, she's having some weird back pains and going to the doctors and the car. Yeah. You tell them about it. Oh, on Friday, I woke up with my back hurting really, really badly around my ribs. It hurt all weekend. I thought maybe it was just a strain or something. I was giving it time to get better. I went to the um, urgent treatment center on Tuesday. They did an x-ray. There's nothing wrong. Although I'm having stabbing pains. And so today I went to the chiropractor and got an adjustment. And I'm, it still hurts, but it's a different kind of pain. So I'm hoping maybe by tomorrow it'll start feeling a little bit better. Maybe he did, I don't know. Hopefully it helps. Yeah, so that's that. So hopefully she gets to feeling better soon. They they gave her painkillers and stuff at the... Or no, muscle relaxers. Muscle relaxers, yeah. Maybe too drowsy. I couldn't... I can't. Yeah, won't, won't be doing that again. No. But hopefully the chiropractor is able to help out. It's probably just a muscle that got pulled because Ellis likes to wiggle while you're holding him or something at the gym. Who knows? But yeah. I think that's probably where we'll wrap it up. Watch a couple of YouTube videos and head to bed. So thank you guys as always for watching. Hopefully you had a great day. We'll see you next time.